，没毛，没得，太太没得，没得做啊。小心啊！对，在大概在十十十几公分左右的时候 ，OK， 十五公分左右的时候，拉到这里，因为拉到这里的时候，嗯、你你个玩意怎样？你个夹子已经出得来了，冇问题，可以重新再再一一夹中上嚟。OK， so why you saying that the in terms of control, it has to be very controlled up to this point, about maybe five to six centimeters from your point of power. So that once you're here and you drive through, you're not going to change the position of the bar anymore because your your position is very stable really, but if you're here, you're doing you try to drive through, you might go like this. Um, how to control and how to find your center. So coach is saying that when you're finding your center, you must have your joints locked so that you can accurately find your center position. So if the position is found correctly, you notice that my whole body is like a plank and I'm just moving from my ankles. Now, a common uh, mistake that people will do is instead of doing this, they move their hips like this. So, if you are really centered when you move, you can feel the position of the bar. But what happens if, if you are doing this, the position of the bar is really sh shifted, the center of gravity is shifted away. So, it has to be centered over here. So, very common mistake is people try to move. In terms of center position, what we want is. Okay, so if you are centered, if let's say the bar is right to my shoulder, shoulder sits over the hip, hip sits over the knee, knee sits over the ankle. 
dead center. So in this position, so you cannot, here I'm already forward, and here I'm backwards really. So that's the center position. So in relation to that, when we are lifting, let's say for example, if I'm doing a start pull, even this position here when I start, let's say I'm holding the bar, the bar must be centered here. So and then when I move, ankle, bar, let's say the bar is here and the shoulder, it all moves up in one line with this. That's what you want to do. So positions will change based on how you move. How you what move. about relation to the... If somebody has knees, now, if let's say your knee, you've got longer femurs here, what's going to happen is that you're going to, if you go too low, you're going to push it forward like this. So then the bar, you know, this is, the bar is here, it's already shifted away from the ankle. So what we're going to do is with taller, uh, or actually longer femurs, you want to adjust until the point where the bar is here, and that will be your start position. So no matter what it is, the point that we're looking for is the bar sits over the center here, and then as you come up, it stays in line like this as you come up. So for example, if I'm, start position for me would be something like uh, here. So as I come up, you notice how it stays in line with this. So, uh, so for example, coach has different femur lengths. Now there, so that's not good. So when you come up time, the knee is in the way. So there's a double movement. So what happens if if you sit so low and you have to actually do a double movement, space and size, size, size or take So either you have to pull the bar in front or it blocks your knee, so that's not good. Uh, so see, even if you go lower, see, you still can't drive the bar forward. This doesn't change. So once the bar is over, see how this position, higher position, lower position, your hand still stays, so the energy to the bar still stays in the same position over midfoot. Yeah, you can't, you can't shove your knees forward. Can you do someone where we want the timing of the split to be when you're finished extension and going down versus you're in extension and then trying to split oh, at the same time. Oh, so 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 Typically, when we're doing a split, what happens is a lot of people use too much strength. So when the, before the movement has even finished, you're already still in the air, and then you jump. So what happens is it becomes really unstable. So what you want is to finish the movement. So so the best is the timing is when bar is up and you're going to the lockout and to receive it has to be the same time. You have to match the timing of the bar because a lot of times what happens is that you lock first and then yeah, so what happens if you jump, so what's gonna happen? It's unstable. So what you want is the time, the timing they lock is once it's here and then together. You want the timing yeah. locked together, not to be separate. So that's what we're aiming for. If your power is not fully used, that's when you get the jump and then drop down and the bar pushes down to you. Whereas if the timing is correct, power is going up and then you match the timing. Yeah.